and welcome to the webinar. I'm Diane Halfman, and I want to thank you for being here today. Thank you everyone for taking time out of your very busy day to be here. I want you to know that I've made sure that this investment of your time is going to bring you value right away. You're going to have several practical, easy to use takeaways that you can put into action immediately. So let's get started. For this webinar, I'd love for you to interact by submitting your questions and typing comments into the chat box. If you're new to Webinar Jam, then there's a 45 second delay in me seeing your chat answers. I'll be focused on the presentation, however, I'll take a peek at what you type as often as I can. Keeping that in mind, I'll answer your questions during our Q&A time at the end. For the simple questions, I have a moderator that will be answering those questions as we go. For those of you who have taken my Clutter Awareness Quiz, please have your results on hand to refer to. For those who haven't taken the assessment yet, you can take it tomorrow at theclutterawareness.com. Again, that's theclutterawareness.com. Please don't take it until after midnight since it will only give you information about the call that you're already on. Since we have limited time today, if I don't get to all of you, please email me after the webinar. That email is diane at dianehaffman.com. Later on during this webinar, I'm going to give you the way to enter the drawing to receive my Paper Clutter Solution program for free. Yes, you heard me right. Today, for you taking the time to be here and invest in yourself, three lucky people will be chosen at random to receive my Paper Clutter Solution program online training course for free. That's a $500 value for three lucky people. So listen carefully during this webinar for how to enter this. For now, I want you to pause for a moment and think about your day-to-day -day life. Think about your last few days. Think about your environment at home. Think about your environment at work. Keeping those days in mind, I want you to answer honestly. Were you having fun? How many of you want to have even more fun? I want you to type the word fun into the chat box if you would love to have more fun in your life. We know that whatever fun we are having now, we know we want to have even more fun. And since we want to have more fun, let's take a look at some of the roadblocks to having that fun. How many of you have too many have to's, must to's, and to do's? How many of you felt overwhelmed because you have so much to do and can't seem to get it all done? You know that overwhelmed feeling when your day is over and your list of things to do is still long? Do me a favor and type the word overwhelm into the chat box if you felt overwhelmed recently because you have so much to do and can't seem to get it all done. Working with me, you'll be able to quickly reset yourself and stop feeling overwhelmed. That feeling of overwhelm, wow, that's a tough thing to handle. It blocks you in so many ways. How many of you have watched CSI or cop type shows? So here's an insider tip from real police work. When we need to find a dangerous suspect, we put out a message that's called a bolo. Be on the lookout. I help you be on the lookout for previous patterns and blocks to your success. That's your dangerous suspect. That's who robs you of your money. And that's the dangerous suspect who robs you of your time. That's the dangerous suspect who robs you of your productivity. When you know what your tendency is, it allows you to be aware and apply the reset system and you naturally, organically, purely become more productive. I've identified the seven blocks to being able to let things go. My clients have often confided in me their hidden shame in holding on to things. A few of those blocks are, it's a keepsake, I've spent a lot of money on it, I might need that later, or it's a gift, I'm obligated to keep it. Do any of those sound familiar? On your quiz, your lower scores are indicators of patterns that are not serving you. Once you see reoccurring patterns, you can reset yourself and be supported. One example of how I support you is through my Clutter to Calm course. So, do you want to feel like you're winning every day? If you look at the higher scores on your quiz, those are areas in your life where you are winning. You want more, more of those in your life. Doesn't that make you happier when you do feel that way? Because you took the time to be here today, what's possible for you is this. You are actually going to get the key of how you can put all of your energy into just your next step forward instead of having your energy scattered all over the place. Another thing you're going to see by being here is really knowing what it feels like to be winning every day. To be able to stay in action more, you'll feel a strong sense of conviction to remain in action. You'll learn what it's costing you to not be in action. 
you'll learn how to organize your day, how to organize blocks of time, and that works in conjunction with the action box that you'll learn about here in just a few minutes. You're going to see how to create a stress-free environment where you can have way more results. That's what's possible just from joining me for this experience today. Now, let's talk about balance in life. Balance gives you a sense of calm and that winning feeling. It affects your motivation every day. Balance, it's not about having neat piles. We've all heard about having balance in your life, yet many of you struggle constantly with that concept. You understand the why, but achieving the how seems elusive for anything longer than a short time. Then it gets derailed again, right? Working with me, you'll learn how to create a life you love. It's not about having neat piles on your desk. It's about having a life that excites you, where you're not working all the time. In order to do that, you've got to have clarity around what you're doing and why. Many of you have to-do lists that are a mile long, and every day you don't complete that list, it feels like a failure. If you always seem to have a long to-do list, I want you to type the words long list into the chat box. Type the words long list into the chat box if it seems like your to-do list is always long. Having balance requires you to choose the few key things to take action on and focus on just those actions. That way, each day feels like a win. Part of what makes you feel like you're winning is choosing a lifestyle that's based on what makes you happy first, then healthy, then wealthy. Dispelling the belief that you have to work all the time is easy when you have a specific intention. You start by making your focus working to be happy. That's a completely different energy than working just for money. By having the happy things on your calendar first, like taking a vacation, then you have something to look forward to, which is amazing. It's also important to make health a priority for many reasons. One of the most important ones is so that you have the energy to sustain yourself to do all the great things that you want to do. By the way, if the transform your kitchen section of your quiz score are low, then it's time to organize your kitchen to better support your health goals. When you lead with your happiness and health, the wealth and actions and the wealth goals and actions become easier. That's because you are more clear on what's important to you. When you have that shift in focus, you're more intentional with your work. Because we are emotionally driven, if you're excited about something, you can use that energy to drive your business and your life. My intention is for you to really see that it's possible for you to experience more freedom. You can stop being scattered, stop being overwhelmed, really have that clarity and focus and balance in your life. What I'm going to teach you are those things which contribute to you being able to master the inner game of organization. If your quiz scores are low in this area, then it's time to ask yourself the deeper questions of how you can love your space more. In my Clutter to Calm course, we dive deeper into these questions and exercises to uplevel your space. You'll be able to clear out spaces so you can actually do the stuff you need to do with clarity and focus and not be distracted. What we're going to create together is this. We are going to put simple systems in place to achieve the balance and create the space for you to go to the next level. I really want you to hear me on this point. It is not about having neat piles on your desk. It's about having a life that excites you where you're not working all the time. In order to do that, you've got to have clarity around what you're doing and why. Our work is designed to bring peace, order, and productivity into your life. As we look at what we do each day and what we want to accomplish in our goals, we need to make sure that what we do gets us results. Working with me gets you the results that you've been craving. Your clients will get more results as well. When you have that shift in focus, you're more intentional with your work. If you're really clear, you're going to be more efficient with your time and your commitments. Keep in mind that you have to commit to yourself first. If you look at your quiz results and you look at your commitment level, and if that is low, you need to ask yourself, what is getting in the way of me investing in committing to myself? I want to say that again. You need to ask yourself, what's getting in the way in me investing and committing to myself? If you don't keep your commitments, then how can you expect other people to be committed? As an example, if you cannot complete the two things that you've committed to do for yourself today, 
how can you expect others to hold on to their commitments as well? Today, we're going to cover how to have tons of fun and still get it all done. Discover the five keys to instantly get your hands on what you need, feel more energized, and be massively productive. What we'll be talking about is the five steps to my reset system. And after that, we'll discuss the three things that you can start doing today to feel more energized, the most important time-saving tool of the action box, how to use a common kitchen gadget to bring more freedom to your day, and lastly, I'll show you how to take it further with training, tools, and support. I'll teach you as much as I can in the limited time we have together. And then I promise to show you how you can take it further, how you'll be able to accelerate what you learn every day, how to accelerate your productivity. We are going to remove barriers that don't allow you to be, do, and have the lifestyle that you really want. You've imagined that lifestyle. You know you want it. You know you have to take the steps to get it. Just imagining it won't get you there. Just wanting it won't get you there. Taking steps, being proactive, making that investment, that will get you there. A key way to relieve stress is through the clarity of a stress-free environment. We don't live in a vacuum. We live in the nine environments. If one part of your life is out, it throws the whole wheel off. For every action, there's a reaction. If something is out of place, it subconsciously throws you out of alignment. For example, in the declutter your closet section of your quiz, if you scored low in those areas, subconsciously your brain is looking at all the things that are out of alignment. When this is corrected, you can put all the energy into just the next step forward, rather than being scattered. If your space is not working, if you're not organized in your thoughts, if your relationship is not working, it's time to clear things up. When you clear the things that are no longer serve you in the physical space, you can see other things opening up. To help you in the process of clearing the physical things, right now, I'm gonna take you through my reset system. This system is gonna be used in a lot of different ways. Today, in the limited amount of time that we have together, I'm gonna to show you just a few. Working together, we put simple systems in place to achieve the balance and create space to go to the next level. I've got a proven step-by-step -step process to moving from where you are to the vision you're holding of your home, your surroundings, and what you want your daily experience of life to be. Clement Watt once said, take the first step, no more, no less, and the next step will be revealed. The R in my reset system stands for remove. One way to remove any barriers that don't allow you to be who you really want to be, do what you really want to do, and have what you really want to have. The way to accomplish this is by reducing tension, toxicity, and trauma from your life. There are a variety of ways people come to experience the stressors in their life. Some are through work, some are through what we bring into our lives because of our own choices, or the people we surround ourselves with. When I was on the police department, the stressors came in many forms for me, such as one day when gang members did a drive-by shooting. I was so close to the targeted house that when it happened, I heard the gunshots. I was the first one there, the first one rushing through the door. It just wasn't good. Let's just suffice it to say that one of the family members didn't make it that day. I did my job. I handled the scene. I consoled the family. I investigated the crime. I coordinated with homicide and the gang unit. And then I went home. What I didn't realize at the time, in fact, not until many years later, did I realize how much damage had been done to my body and my spirit, my very soul. Having been a police officer for as long as I was, working the assignments that I worked, I came to know that many of you have had traumatic experiences as well. Experiences that have left scars. Experiences that affect you up to this very moment as we sit here today. You can feel the tug. You know that at times it's stronger than others. A certain time of day, a certain song that you hear, the smell of jasmine bushes on a summer night, a sound that happens deep in your dreams that wakes you with your heart beating fast. I know this because I've been there too. So the point of this story is the remove. What I did was learn how to heal myself, how to remove trauma out of the body, how to release these things. And today, I can tell you it no longer affects me because they've been removed. I can tell you that when you work closely with me, I can do the same for you. I'm now certified to work on people and I take great pleasure in the many people whose lives are richer and whose sleep is peaceful because of what I've been able to do for them. It's not always about the physical stuff. 
Often it's about the emotional and spiritual clutter that these events create. They leave an energetic marker on our hearts. It's what's underneath it all that matters. It's how it affects our lives. What that looks like is barriers. There are physical barriers like clutter and weight, and then there are emotional barriers like not letting people get close to you. This is usually a very unconscious event that happens, yet we know that something is not working. In relationships for years, I wouldn't let people get close to me for fear of losing them. All of my relationships looked great and happy on the outside, yet I was struggling on the inside. That's an example of emotional barriers, yet there are many other barriers that people have, such as physical clutter. What most people don't understand is that there is a direct relationship between the amount of drama in your life and the resulting clutter that comes of it, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. The people who have the most drama tend to have the most clutter. There is a drama to clutter ratio. The more drama, the more clutter. The less clutter, the less drama. If you want less drama in your life, I want you to type in the words no drama in the chat box right now. Let's get rid of the clutter and we'll get rid of the drama. It works both ways. When we help people in their physical space, it helps them in the spiritual and emotional space. The removal process spreads across all platforms. When you work with me on these things, you'll be able to fulfill your mission. Now Linda, she's someone I think most of us can identify with. If you haven't been where Linda was, you certainly know someone like her. Linda is a client who was already an accomplished author. At the time, she was trying to start her second novel. The problem was, she was in serious writer's block. Linda flew me to her home in the Midwest for five days. We talked and I was able to figure out a plan for her that I knew would work. She was stuck. Remember the seven blocks to clearing clutter we talked about earlier? Well, Linda didn't know about these. That kept her stuck. While she was working with me at that deep level, I was able to share this information with her. Think of all that time she could have saved with that knowledge. That's the sort of time-saving things you'll learn in my Clutter to Calm Academy, as well as when you work with me at a deeper level. We removed all the things that didn't represent who she was in terms of clutter, belongings, physical clutter as well as tension in her body and her spiritual clutter. These deeper traumas are what I'm trained in clearing. When you work with me more closely, because I'm trained in clearing tension, toxicity, and trauma, you'll really feel and experience the benefits of that higher level of clearing. Two weeks after our five-day VIP intensive, she finished her book. Yes, you heard me right, two weeks. Keep that in mind that creativity creates and craves clarity. Let me say that again. Creativity craves clarity. If you're trying to create something in your life, you have to make room for it. Creativity craves clarity. By removing all the barriers that were keeping her from completing her book, she was able to have the inspiration and the clarity to put her vision into words and into print. What a great success that was. What a great investment in both time and money that paid off huge. Talk about some ROI. I want you to think for just a moment. What's been on your plate forever that you'd like to complete in just two weeks? Type the word yes into the chat box if you'd like to be able to get something off your plate right away. Today, in our limited time together, I want to teach you how to feel like you're winning every day. To do that, we start with removing any barriers that keep you from that winning feeling. In that process, I utilize some organizing principles, not for the fact of accomplishing neat stacks of paper on your desk, but to create a lifestyle that prioritizes your happiness and your health, and as a result of that, you grow your wealth. I have many tools to do that, and the first is my action box. We won't have time to go into all eight of the hanging files. What I am gonna be able to tell you and to teach you is that the most important time-saving tool of the action box. For now, I'd like to share with you how your inbox and your to-do list are keeping you unorganized and how just eight action files sorry, and just eight action files will keep you on task. How many of you have been frustrated because you just went through your mail or a stack of papers looking for something that you just saw a little while ago? You know you just had it and you swear someone else must have moved it. How many times have you secretly blamed your partner or your kids or the family pet and then later found out that it wasn't them after all? You know you've done this. I want you to type in the word guilty in the chat box if you've blamed someone else for moving something 
when they really hadn't done it after all. Guilty is a word you want to chop, you want to type in. A lot of time can be wasted picking through the same stacks over and over again. If you scored low in the Own Your Office Space section of the quiz, then you're going to want to pay extra special attention here. I'm going to give you the best alternative. The technique is simple to use. Simply ask yourself, what is this mail, note, or business card for? And then you'll be putting that item into the action box. The action box is an open top file box. It's best to have it in a visible place such as your kitchen, entry table, or office desk. It sets you up for successively dealing with paper and being able to get your hands on what you need immediately. By having eight hanging files labeled with the action that needs to be taken, you only need to handle that paper once until you actually need it or use it. The eight files are to pay, to call, to write or email, waiting for a response, coupons, errands, to file, and to read. The one I want to focus on today is errands because the number one time-saving tool of the action box is the errands file. The errands file is for any piece of paper you would need to take with you outside of your home. It could be a receipt to return something, a boarding pass for a flight, forms from a class or seminar, or school papers for kids. This allows you to avoid those frantic mornings or weekend long searches for the paper that you just had yet you can't find. If you're walking out the door, the last thing you need to be doing is hunting for something. This is exactly what happened to my client Kay. Her daughter had been accepted for a $50,000 scholarship as long as she completed a few requirements. That included filling out a form and turning in some receipts. Kay and her daughter searched high and low for the supporting documentation that the school needed. They were not able to find them before the deadline and were denied the scholarship. Frustrated, Kay called me and we systemized her paperwork by removing anything she didn't need and she had the action box with the errand folder in it. If this would have been in place before, this would have never happened. My VIP, clients, <laughs> my VIP clients get this box as a free bonus when they choose to work closely with me. Many of you had files that are out of sight, out of mind. I have other solutions for those challenges. We've just finished talking about the first step in my reset system, which is to remove. I just taught you an example of how to remove paper from your environment using the action box. Would you like to know what to do next? Type the word yes in the chat box if you're ready to hear the rest of the reset system. If you don't reset how you think about things, how you plan your day, how you work, all that clean space that you just spent time clearing out is going to get filled up again. Everything is just going to creep back in and you'll be back right where you started. Would you like to know the other pieces? Are you ready to make this a new way of living and a new clean environment space for you? Well, I'm going to walk you through each of the five steps. This way, you can see what you really need to do to have the reset system in your life in a lasting and deeper way. Remove is part of a five-step system that's called the reset system. I've already taught you the R. Let me go through next to the E. E stands for evaluate. You evaluate what's working and what's not working in your life. This can be applied to everything. A piece of paper, a person in your life, belongings, everything. What's working for you? What's not? What gives you that winning feeling that we talked about? That winning feeling that you want? That winning feeling that you have to have to succeed? That's what I do. I show you how to do the things to succeed. It's at this evaluation stage that you ask yourself critical questions in the different areas of your life. Physical questions such as, can I find what I need when I need it? Mental questions like, does it feel like my to-do list never ends? Emotional questions such as, have you been experiencing more fear or anger lately? And spiritual questions such as, do I have any quiet, reflective time in my day? This may be a time in your life where you need to evaluate what's working and what's not working. My client Maddie was at a crossroads, asking herself many of these same questions. Divorced after 35 years of marriage and 40 years as a nurse, she found herself downsized from a large and lavish home into a one-bedroom apartment. When she called me into her space, Maddie had everything she owned on the living room floor in a huge pile of clutter. She felt devastated and drained with all the stuff on the floor, a reflection of all that wasn't working in her life. She couldn't sleep and she couldn't fully function. 
a visual reflection of what was emotionally not working in her life. She was depressed, drained, and spontaneously crying. Remember how we learned that physical clutter is an indication of emotional clutter? Maddie was experiencing just that. She was looking at the things on her living room floor and believing that what that clutter represented was who she was as a person. Instead, we looked at who she really was inside and who she wanted to be, how she wanted to show up in the world today. We set to work and as she cleared up her space, she began to clear up. She began to shine with new possibilities. In what ways do you know that there are things that are not working in your life? You know it's a time to start asking yourself the hard questions. What are you hiding and where are you playing small? I want to ask you that again. Where are you hiding and where are you playing small? You know it's time to do something different. Are you feeling that now? Do you know that you need to change things? You know that the universe brought you here today for a reason. You know that you're hearing these things because it's time for you to make a change. You know you need a boost to make your life better. And you know, you know sitting there that the, I'm the one that can help you do that. You know that you need to do this, right? In a few minutes, I'm going to let you know where to begin. I'm going to show you how we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation to give you the roadmap to start asking yourself these questions. Let's move on to the next part of my reset system, the S. S is for systemize. Systemize your day to set yourself up for success. To do that, you need to take action. Remember that I told you that there were three things that you could start today to feel more energized? Well, for some of you, these may be reminders. However, it's sometimes the simplest habits that we forget to do consistently. Here they are. Number one is three deep breaths. Let's take those together right now. Taking three slow breaths in and out will increase oxygen to the brain. It's calming for the brain and the body. It lowers the pulse, blood pressure, and respiratory rates, as well as anxiety. Number two is water. Let's take a drink of water together right now. Dehydration affects all the body's systems and can cause fight, flight, or freeze response. It happens well before you realize it, see the effects, or feel it. If you feel thirsty, you are already dehydrated. Sleep is number three. Sleep is the most underutilized tool and the one most readily give up. The systems and habits that we have in place for our body and self-care are among the most important, so pay attention to those three important things we just covered. Your systems the S in my reset system are your answer to so many problems you're experiencing. I had to learn this the hard way. One day a few years ago, well, a lifetime ago, I walked in the front door of my home and instantly knew something was wrong. You know that feeling. You know what it, when something's wrong. You just don't know what is wrong. And I knew it was something big. I soon found out that my husband was leaving me. We'd been married for six years and we had two daughters, four and five years old. I was a brand new police officer working night shift, and my life as I knew it shattered. My life looked great on the outside. However, I didn't share with anyone how much chaos I was feeling on the inside. In fact, I couldn't let down my facade because showing weakness as a police officer is simply not an option. Couple that with being a female in a male-dominated world where strength is a key component of being respected and accepted. So I made sure to keep that facade in place. The weight of dealing with a sudden turmoil in my life quickly mounted to be an extreme burden. I was working the graveyard shift, caring for my two young daughters, learning a new job, and dealing with the rigors of police work. On top of all of that, I faced handling the emotional aspects of working on an all-male squad of officers and jealous wives complaining about them riding at night alone in a car with me. Going from a life where I had everything mapped out to everything being thrown into a frenzy was nearly overwhelming. I lost light of, sight of my systems. I stopped caring about being organized. I stopped opening my mail. I stopped filing things. I was in crisis management mode. And a lack of organization created additional weight on my shoulders. I felt lost in life. I felt that everything I had worked so hard for up to that point was falling apart. 
everything that I had so carefully planned and was crafted was spinning out of control. I was down on myself. I felt like a failure. I would have given anything, I mean anything, to have been able to connect with someone that could relate to me, who could help me, who could understand what I was going through. Many of you have had a relationship end and have that be devastating. Had that twisting, turning feeling in the pit of your stomach? Had that chest feel heavy and your heart sink? Type the word, the word relationship in the chat box if you've had that happen. As I came to realize my life was falling apart, I took an inventory of what I had that was positive and what I had that needed to be released. That saved me. I got back on track and began using my systems again. Systems, the S in my reset system, are your answer to so many problems that you're experiencing. The second E in my reset system is experience. Experience more flow, freedom, and feeling good in your day. For me, I began to follow the systems I had in place. At first, it seemed like a lot more work, but as I used those systems in a regular way, I found out I had more free time. I wasn't wasting time looking for things over and over again. I knew how to be able to put my fingers on what I needed when I needed it. My client, Holly, is a perfect example of not experiencing more flow, freedom, and feeling good in her day. Holly had the perfect facade as a, as a successful attorney with both a corporate and home office. She had to look all put together, especially when walking to the courtroom. However, no one knew on most days she felt awful. She never felt caught up and had decades of unopened mail stacked in most rooms of her home. She stopped inviting people into her home and she literally felt like she was being buried alive physically and emotionally. Holly would have never called me except she was desperate to get help as she was beginning to miss deadlines. If you recognize any part of this in you, I would love to have a conversation with you. Remember how I mentioned that you could use a common kitchen gadget to bring more freedom to your day? Well, that kitchen gadget is a kitchen timer. If you haven't seen one of those in a while, this is what it looks like. This is has such a great tool to use. You can use this kitchen timer or you can also use the timer that is on your phone as well. This is one of the success tools that really helped Holly move forward out of that feeling of being buried. The things she was working on were emotionally draining for her. Because her environment felt so overwhelming to her, we began setting the kitchen timer in 15 minute increments. This was so that she could have the feeling of success by staying focused on the task at hand, but only to do the task for a short amount of time. At the beginning, some days all she could do was 15 minutes, but each day those 15 minutes built success on the day before. For Holly, getting that success gave her the motivation and the joy to be able to increase how long she could work on projects. She had that winning feeling each day, each day built on the previous day. There are a lot of terms that describe why this will work so well for you, such as forward progress, having a winning feeling, and building self-esteem are just a few. Type the word winning into the chat box if you think you would be relieved to work on an overwhelming project for just 15 minutes and experience success like Holly. Do you think that you'd be relieved to work on an overwhelming project for just 15 minutes and experience successes like Holly? It just makes it so much more manageable. Remember, you can work on tasks longer if you're ready. The thing is, we start making forward progress. That progress then lays the foundation for success by building habits of accomplishment. The T in my reset system stands for track. You'll track and expand what makes you smile and release anything that cramps your style. Do you know how it feels to hold on to something or someone for too long that isn't in alignment for you? You know something's got to give. However, the comfort zone, even though it's not working, feels better than the unknown. When I was still in the police department, I had been in a relationship for six years with a guy I'll call time. I was working a kidnapping and murder case of a little girl that I knew. In the middle of that investigation, Tom called me while I was at work and asked me what was for dinner and that I needed to come home and make him some dinner. Now, have any of you had that relationship with that hot guy that no matter what you did, you couldn't please him? Or if something went wrong, he blamed you? Well, I spent many years trying to keep the peace on the streets as well as in my own home. 
It all looked good from the outside. However, inside of me, I never felt good enough. I twisted myself more times than I'd like to admit to make it all work. I took, the, it took this murder case to wake me up and to realize how short life is. I was no longer willing to do anything that didn't make me happy or be an example to my children. What are you not letting go of? I want to say this again. What are you not letting go of? Is the smile you're showing the world a true reflection of how you feel in all the different areas of your life? I support overwhelmed entrepreneurial women who want to create excellence in their physical, emotional, and spiritual space. My VIP clients pay me thousands of dollars to get the freedom they're looking for. When you work with me, I become your business partner. People work with me for a day or a year where we build deep connection to get the systems of life in place. Life is about taking action. If you have sleepless nights, feeling overwhelmed, or simply not having enough fun in your life, then you need to get that winning feeling back into your life. Because you took the time today to be on this call, in a moment, I'm going to show you how to get your complimentary tool that's going to start you down the road to experiencing that winning feeling on a daily basis. First, let me recap my reset system to organize your life. R is to remove any barriers that don't allow you to be, do, or have what you really want. E is to evaluate what's working and what's not working in your life. S is to systemize your day to set yourself up for success. The second E is to experience more flow, freedom, and feeling good in your day. And T is to track and expand what makes you smile and release anything that cramps your style. Thank you for participating today. I would love to stay in touch with you. To have a deeper understanding of all the information we discussed today and so you can be more clear and productive, I'm going to give you an opportunity in just a few moments to have a free one-on-one -on -one conversation with me. You invested in yourself and I know you can see that that investment will already be paying off for you. So let's jump over to take a few questions to see what we're asked. Okay. For our questions from Jessica, how often do you purge the open file blocks? That's a great question. So the action box and why it's called action is because action needs to be taken on it. So for instance, if you are having, you need to look into the call, you would have a set a block in your calendar where you would say, you know, time to spend on calls, go to the call folder, take out the cards or number or, or anything that you have in there. Once you do them, then you throw them away. So it's kind of a self-purging type thing that because you're doing the actions, when you complete the action, they then get taken out of the action box at that time. So from Mary, it says, I feel so overwhelmed, it's hard for me to get started. I completely get that. That's why in my academy, I started having teachings and chunks of time where you would do them in 10 to 15 minutes at a time. So you wanna look at what are the things that you really wanna get done implement the reset system where you remove something out of an area, evaluate it, decide on the system, see how it works with you, and then track it. So if you do just one area at a time, it becomes more manageable. If it still feels too overwhelming, then I'm happy to talk to you about it on a, on a deeper level on one of our one-on-one -on -one calls, um, or send me an email and I'll support you further in that. So, from from Cheryl, how do you choose where to start? The office, clothes closet, or a catch-all room? That's a great question as well. I usually have people walk room to room and see what room's calling to them, which one bugs them the most. There's really no right or wrong way in terms of where you start, just that you start. So the one, if your closet bothers you most because you can't find what you're looking for in your clothes and that's slowing you up every day, that's a great place to start. If you're in business for yourself and you've got taxes coming up and you need to find what you're needing there, maybe papers is a good place for you to start. I would just go with whatever inspires you to just get started and just apply the, the reset system at that time. Another thing that would be good in, to start out small is you could start with even your purse or a junk drawer, something where you can actually have that winning feeling part of why I talked about doing things in like 15 minute chunks because if you did something like your purse or a junk drawer then you could 
really see how the, the system works, remove everything out of there, evaluate what you're keeping and not keeping, systemize how you want it to go back, then you can experience how that's working for you, and then you want to track and maintain that system that you've just now created for yourself. So starting small can help with the overwhelm of that. So Tanya says, the reset system makes sense, but it seems so big. I have this overwhelming feeling, where do I even start? So as you can see, we're seeing these patterns of overwhelm. And the only way to help with overwhelm is to do things in small chunks of time. Give yourself enough time in your calendar. Actually block out the time to be able to do these projects. If you're doing something small like your purse or a junk drawer, you can probably get that done in you know, 15, 20 minutes. But if you're going to do something tackling like your office or your closet, you actually want to give yourself like three to four hours where you give yourself that, that chunk of time to take everything out, go through the system, and make some great decisions. Some of these bigger projects, I highly recommend that you don't do by yourself. It's so much easier to have an objective person, typically not your family, because they might you know, question how you're doing certain things. So whether it's a friend or myself, or someone who can really support you through this process, you know, if you've had things that have been piling up in your home for years and decades, you know, give yourself that gift of having somebody support you through that process, especially if you're feeling overwhelmed. Again, if you get on one of my one-on-one -on -one strategy calls, I can help you decide what parts would be great for you to do yourself and what things you might want to get some support in. Okay, from Lucy. She said, anyone hesitating to get the free call, I've worked with her and she has changed my life. Just a big fan. Aw, oh, Lucy, thank you for your comment. That's so sweet. I loved working with you. And from Nancy, I work from home, I'm an artist, I have trouble keeping my work separate from my private life. I totally get that because I work from home as well. And one of the things that you is really helpful to do is to have office hours. And I know what a lot of times what happens is that when we work from home, we just kind of work 24-7 and we're jump back and forth into the, the work and personal space, you know, really often. So in order to, remember I talked about building your, your life in terms of what makes you happy first and then healthy and then wealthy? Well, get those healthy and happy things on the calendar and have blocks of time so that you actually go out of your home and that you do those things and that you have those office hours where you know exactly when you're going to start and when you're done. Have those boundaries around your office time. It's not to say that you can't have an office hour you know, before or after that time, but have it in your calendar so that you can plan around it and have those really hard stops so that uh, you, you know how to do that. If you're like me and you love what you do, sometimes those get really blurred because your business becomes your life because you love it so much. But it really is important, as I talked about the nine environments of having more balance in your life, that you do more than, than your work. And the best way to do that is to have boundaries and set that up in your calendar to have start and finish time in your work life. Great question. And the final one is from Renee. How do we sign up? <laughs> well, you can just go to dianehaffman.com forward slash session and you will have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with me and I will help you in determining what your best next move is to help you get organized. All right. Thank you so much for the questions. That's uh, Hopefully, if you, as you have those questions, it, it helps everyone else who probably also has that question. So I really appreciate you reaching out and, and having those questions. So my final thoughts are, remember, it's not just about creating neat stacks of paper. It's about creating a life you love. Being more energized and productive allows you to create that life. Because you are so committed in creating excellence in all that you do, I invite you to take the following best next step so that you can lock in this commitment with action. That step is to sign up for a free Clutter to Calm session with me. The Clutter to Calm session is a free one-on-one -on -one conversation reserved only for highly committed people like you. We will spend some time zeroing in on your specific situation and identifying your best next moves to not only reduce clutter, but also creating the excellence that you want in all areas of your life. Clement Watt once said, take the first step, no more, no less, and the next step will be revealed. That is like one of my favorite quotes, and I just want to say it again. Take the first step, no more, no less, 
and the next step will be revealed. That is what will keep you out of overwhelm, is taking things step by step in a guided process that will help you move beyond that feeling of overwhelm. So take the first step, no more, no less, and the next step will be revealed. Your first step was being here today. Your next step that's been revealed to you is to sign up for a free 30-minute one-on-one call with me to identify your best next move to creating the life that you love. So don't delay. Sign up for that now because these slots will fill up quickly. It's been my absolute pleasure to spend this time with you. Now go out and create your perfect day.